Hello and good morning and this is a continuation from the previous lab. So I'm going to show you how to perform exception handling uh, in Android application. So exception handling is very important because if you do not handle your exception very well, then your Android application can crash unexpectedly. Also by having uh, exception handling, it could also improve your application usability. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to detect the exception throughout the use of Logcat and then how to handle this particular exception. So let's see how it can be done. Okay, first and for all, right? Uh, I'm going to close this emulator. Then we go to the activity and then I'm going to restart back this emulator in order to detect the exception. So continuing from the previous lab, okay, we have seen that uh, this application would work flawlessly if you just press the calculate okay, like this. But it will not work if uh, one or both value of this uh, edit tag would be empty. So if you press calculate, it will automatically crash. Right. So what causing this application to crash? So in order to check that, okay, you need to click on this logcat. Okay, logcat. The so logcat is a place where you can trace the error or exception inside your application. So whenever your application crash, it will display out this type of exception. So to make to ensure that you can only uh, see the exception, right? You can uh, type over here. Okay, make sure you select the correct uh, emulator, and then you have to type level, and then uh, you put here error. Error. All right. You type here error, so you can filter error only error. So you can see here what caused the application to crash okay it is because it triggered number format exception so then you can trace uh, at which line of your uh, application that causes this number format exception so you can go over here okay you can trace here okay this is the line main activity java so we can see here the application is main activity so you just click here and then it will highlight uh, line number 39. So I assume that you all are familiar with Java and how to pe perform uh, exception handling. So to perform exception handling, okay, you can see here uh, that uh, this value is empty and then it will cause, uh, when it's, this value it is empty, then it will cause the uh, string to be empty. So when uh, this string is empty, it will also cause a number format exception. So in order to handle that, you have to type in the try. Okay, try and catch block. Okay, you can see over here, try and catch. So you can uh, encompass the entire block. Okay, block section. And then you type, type in just catch. Okay, you put here. And then Either you can put here an exception like this, okay, to capture all exception, or you can put a number format exception. So I suggest you to put the most specific exception so that you can, um, so that your application can be more specific when it display the error to the user. So when you have a uh, catch this uh, number format exception, you need to display it. So we can display it using toast notification. Okay, just type your toast and then type here make text and then context. Okay, by contact you can type here get application context. Okay, just like this. Okay, then comma. Okay, and then you put in the error. Uh, okay, the error string or at least inform the user that uh, uh, the value and discount cannot be empty. Hmm. Or you can put here, please. Okay. Enter both value and discount. Okay. 
and then comma okay then you have to fill in the duration put here toast dot length short okay and then you have to type in uh, show okay show okay ensure that this is correct right and then you have to replay it again okay rerun it again and there you will have it uh, when you press uh, the calculate you will display the error message over here and your application will no longer crash and then you can put here the number okay right just like this so if you do not put anything then it will display the error message okay okay and then another thing is that uh your yeah your user can still put in other text okay this is not good okay other uh, this is not good so to improve uh, usability okay uh, okay to improve uh, the usability right uh, you need to disable this behavior right to disable this behavior okay so to disable this behavior or to only allow user to uh, key in the number in the value uh, or uh, the discount text box or text field or edit text you need to go back to the ui element okay under layout activity main we just have to press over here and then click uh, both uh, value and discount okay you can select both of them okay together like this you click one and then you press shift uh, with your mouse and then click another one so you select both okay you uh, can select both so when you select both you have to uh, find input type over here okay and then change it okay change the flag okay press the flag and then change to number and then put here number and number uh, sign so sign means that your number can be positive or negative right okay then you can rerun back okay okay and then you find out that you no longer can enter any um, non-numeric character okay non-numeric character so when you press over here okay the g -bot, Okay, sorry, the G bot. Okay, you can no longer. Okay, so again, and then you can press in the the value. Okay, you can press in the value. Okay, forty six percent and so on. So, uh, that's all for today's lab. Hopefully, you can get a key takeaway, uh, from this lab. So, what we are doing today is for you to do exception trace okay to trace the exception that keep your application from running okay and then you can also trace your exception through the use of logcat okay over here i will already show you okay how to use logcat to trace your exception and then how to handle the exception and display the uh, notification to the user uh if an exception is detected and thus preventing the exception from crashing uh, your application i've also show you how to create a more user-friendly application by setting out the flag uh, in the text field or in the edit text so that's all for today's lab i uh, will be seeing you on the next lab